Good day everyone, or should I say good evening because it's evening here at the moment and it's uh, raining, it's quite uh, a nice time for creating and uh, editing this video obviously for me right now. So I decided to tinker a little bit with uh, some transparent tints and inks and acrylic pens and uh, as I said tinkering this is the first time ever that um, I try to create a piece with um, using that medium so it was quite interesting and this uh, Yupo paper that I'm using here has quite a few layers so I, I, I kind of started first and then decided to video it. That's why you don't see the beginning of the, of the process. But it was just adding tints and pretty much blobbing them to create that kind of a background. And what I'm doing here is I'm just using an acrylic pen just to outline the edge in a darker color. And I went around and uh, just drew some shapes of flower look looking objects. And I'm kind of liking this um, just as, as a background, you know, it's just very colourful and, and vibrant and uh, it just looks great on its own but it's really not telling a story. So I'm adding more colours in there, darker blues and um, dripping in some whites. So I'm playing with some acrylics, yep, uh, sorry, um, some alcohol inks as well, just uh, uh, popping drops of uh, white alcohol ink into those uh, florets and uh, seeing what they do and yes, they do spread and create little effects which uh, are looking quite cool but I just keep going adding different things in there just uh, to to make them pop and at the moment they are not popping it just looks very very busy at this stage so some really nice vibrant oranges and beautiful reds and blues um, is something I'm thinking that I need to add here now which is what, I, what I'm doing and then just um, dripping a little bit of alcohol into each uh, little circle there and seeing what they do just observing watching and learning really because uh, this is something that uh, I'm doing for the purpose of learning and uh, showing you and teaching you as I'm learning. So there's a lot of um, artists out there who paint with inks and and dyes, and they are marvelous. But uh, I have to experience this myself. So I'm just adding here some white and yellow alcohol ink just to lighten the background now because I'm figuring I'm, I want to have darker flowers <laughs> and all of this changes as I go you know so a lighter background darker flowers at this stage mind you and just using some paper towel just to blob the excess of, uh, of that ink and you can see that it had lightened the, the whole piece um, immediately just uh, carry on carrying in ca come on get it right carrying on just with my scissors and just scratching the shapes um, of these flowers so it's quite effective really as that Yupo paper is quite sturdy and it will take all of this manipulation I have taped it down because it, it does warp and it did warp because I've added so many layers it's not even funny um, but uh, it did take it there are other 
types of paper that you can get, acrylic papers and uh, like craft papers that you can use and not as expensive as Yupo paper. I just had it and uh, that's why I'm, I'm using it. So now it's, uh, it's the next day or maybe even two days later, I'm not even sure anymore. Um, so I decided that I wanted to embellish some of uh, the, or all of the flowers with my uh, Posca pens, which was quite cute, but it uh, kind of turned the, the whole outlook of, of, of the whole piece. I made it look a little bit animated. So it, although it was fun doing it, and it was great, and it looks cute, but it uh, definitely needed more afterwards. So that's what I'm doing at the moment, is just uh, going around mainly with the white Posca pen and just um, outlining those flowers and creating a little bit of character in, in, uh, in each, each one of them. I'm using that uh, bit of paper there, paper towel, just to rest my hand on so that uh, I don't uh, make a mess on the painting. Although my, um, my hands were quite messy. <laughs> and I tell you what, some of those uh, inks, um, they stain quite badly. So mm, just uh, be careful with it. quite fun and relaxing and something different to do at, at this stage. Uh, a lot of us um, are stuck at home and there are restrictions as to where and uh, where we go, when you can go out. So we, we have to utilize our time um, and be creative and do stuff around the house so that we don't go crazy <laughs> so I've been doing a lot of um, work in my veggie garden I've started a new veggie patch so maybe that's uh, what's inspired this piece although I don't have any little flower beds or anything like that but uh, anyway the subconscious works in mysterious ways and I guess I'm craving for color and I'm adding a lot of colors on here and isn't it amazing how the subconscious works? Like anything that you are really desperately wanting and needing, um, if you find a way to express yourself on on a canvas or on paper or even you know musically or poetically or whichever way, it's amazing how that subconscious comes out and just reveals things to you about you. Uh, you didn't even realize uh, what was happening in your head <laughs> so I look at it now how cute does that look it looks really cute and I could have stopped at that of course but guess what yep you guessed it I didn't stop at that so this is the next day the whole piece is nice and dry and I've got my tray there and you can see those little little um, stained wells that are you can't you just can't wash that out that uh, that poor um, tray is uh, gonna end up in, in the bin I think because um, it's, um, it's it's not going to be able to wash out so I've got some of the tents these tents they are found mix well with water alcohol uh, tends to split split it a little bit it still works all right in in resin and it works all right when you apply it but in the tray there you can actually see it splitting a little bit so i'm using it a bit um, and then afterwards i will replace that and just use water which worked really well so i'm just um Popping some of that color, they are really gorgeous colors, the pinks and the purples and that beautiful rusty red. I'm just applying them inside um, 
those flowers and building the layers like you can already tell there's so many layers in there four or five probably but you can sort of see each layer in, in its own kind of glory telling its own story and and that's what my art is all about telling a story building building um, a play if you want and in here all you can see is oh my gosh I can't believe I come, I'm hearing myself I'm <laughs> this is the art therapist talking okay so do forgive me but it is true it's true everything that you do is telling a story not just uh, painting you know it's everything you do the way you walk the way you talk the facial expressions your your body uh, your posture it is telling something about yourself and about how you're feeling at this uh, present time so it is important to, to pay attention to all of that and uh, it's definitely great to express it so I'm loving now even just watching this now because it all looks different on film than when you're actually doing it because when you're doing it you you forget the, the previous layers so now as I'm watching the video and putting it all together um, I can see it all kind of coming to life and, uh, and it, it looks great and it feels feels great doing this so adding those colors really really um, helps to to build that story and, and help it um, express itself back at you kind of thing you know I, I really believe that there is no bad painting um, I, I, I often tell people that and uh, I can make someone feel great about their painting even though they feel previously felt quite crappy about it because I can see so much beauty in so many things even if it's just black and white painting you can see that person in it you can see so many things so many aspects of it can tell you uh, something about that person um, and I think it's wonderful and it's marvelous and I always encourage people to keep keep going with it keep doodling keep drawing you know whatever because it's it's just so healing especially at this time now we need healing a lot of us you know not so much physical healing um, some people do need that obviously but uh, I'm talking about uh, the rest of us who need a little bit of um, a little bit of mental clarity you know? and the best way to do that is to paint and share and uh, you know just uh, do what you can do to make yourself feel better so now I'm going around and um, adding some of that white and this is the white um, uh, uh, sorry I'm trying to think back now it's an alcohol ink but because my my brush was a little bit dirty from from my previous paint my like color that I had on there which was like a pinky one that's why it kind of comes through as a, as a bit pinky, which is quite okay. So I'm trying to tone down the background again, because as it dries, as the previous one dried, it dried darker. This usually happens with inks and, and acrylic paints too. Um, you know, when the paint dries, it always dries a bit darker. So now you can see it here. I'm going around and uh, adding some detail to the middle of these flowers and also adding a little bit of shade and I've kind of started off with a pen here and then I decided to just go straight to tints and do, do it with the tints.
now that um, I've covered uh, a lot of that uh, the pen pre that I used previously um, I've kind of decided to go over it again and just uh, bring, bring, bring the flowers back to life and now I'm going around with the uh, the darker this is a it's a green tint and I'm using it now to create a bit of a shadow behind the flowers and I'm imagining that the, that the light is coming from one angle uh, of the painting and then I'm just um, obviously shading the other side so the green um, tone is really great because it is transparent so whatever you kind of put it over it'll emphasize that particular color that's why I'm using it here and you know this is sometimes it's it's all right to paint and, and tinker with things but uh, it's good to to have knowledge of, of some things and how colors actually work to make the painting work so this green when you put it over that uh, a red for example will just deepen that red and turn it into the burgundy um, which is still a shadow effect but it's not you know it's not in your face it's blending in with with the piece so that's working really well in here some parts do look kind of greenish uh, which is okay because you know it just gives you a bit of an illusion that there is greenery behind there uh, so it's, it's all working in a sense together quite a bit of work this is not the sort of thing that uh, you can create in one go there are a lot of layers and uh, you know it takes quite a lot of work on detailing and things like that and uh, you know you don't have to get into so much detailing if you don't want to but uh, this is something that I did because I just wanted to, to push myself and uh, you know, I just find it uh, hard to I love detail but when it's so small it just gets to me a little bit but uh, I persevered with it and it was actually quite pleasant it was just something that really totally took my mind off things it was something different for me and uh, and I loved it and I enjoyed it so that uh, that's that I just adding a little bit of that rusty red just to lift it up again a little bit and it was really funny just looking at it now because this painting started from having a really busy background and uh, like a dark background with light flowers to light background and dark flowers to a lighter background and dark flowers to <laughs> dark background and dark flowers so go figure, it just, um, you know, it just kept going and going and going. And uh, you can make it whichever way you want. So now I'm just uh, kind of dropping some of that tint in there. That is not an alcohol ink. It is a, as a transparent tint. Um, uh, it is a really transparent lemon yellow. And you can see when I drop them in there, it's almost... Oh, fluorescent it's, it's so gorgeous so I just wanted to lift some of those um, those colors and that's why you know, I added that and I'm just pretty much playing with it now I kind of had some white paint ready to, to just um, 
use my, my chisel brush and uh, just just uh, maybe highlight uh, one side of, of the flowers but I decided to go against it because I quite like what I'm seeing here I do like the animated kind of look it, you know, it just I don't know it just uh, reflects the way I'm feeling at the moment <laughs> which is you know all over the place not here nor there just um, kind of in between so that's um, that's what I want this story to stay as and, and that's what I'm keeping it as tell me about your your experiences at this time with your paintings are you trying anything new are you sticking to what you know how's that going you know I'm finding that sometimes if I'm in a, in a weird mood that uh, you know even if I try to paint or create something that I am very confident with it, it turns out like crap and um, that's just because of the mood I'm in. It doesn't matter if, if I'm, you know, skilled or anything. It's just uh, that's how it comes out. So let me know in the comments below uh, what you think, what your experiences are, and um, stay in touch, stay safe, and uh, let me know what you think about this um, little creation of mine. I, um, I will bid you goodbye. And I'll see you again in another video.